Let's shake it up for the first introduction to our podcast. All right. Let's get it. So uh, don't have a name yet. Me and Jay are starting a new podcast. You guys know there's a full send podcast. Obviously, Steve will do it, has his podcast on Spotify. But uh, I think it's his time. Me and him, two best friends, grew up together, you know, went to high school together. And uh, I think we have a lot of stories to tell. I think definitely this episode is an introduction to, you know, kind of how we came up and kind of how, you know, we discovered Nelk, you know, how yeah. they brought us into our uh, into their arms, which we're so, like, grateful. Obviously, Kyle, Jesse, you know, Steve as well. Uh, the whole Full Send team, you know, John Shahidi, Sam Shahidi. Uh, you know, everyone has believed in us, and I think it's, it's great to start a podcast. Obviously, the first episode is not going to be the same as the next coming, but... I think having an introduction and letting you guys know how we came up. Because we have a lot of crazy stories to tell, right? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So how do we start this? All right. I mean, I mean, we can start off with my name, Cousin Jay. <laughs> all right, all right. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm Cousin Jay. I'm from Sacramento. Um, yes. Yeah. Same here, Salim. Uh, I'm from Sacramento, California as well. Uh, guys, please, just want to let you guys know, it's our first podcast, Okay. Yeah. I know a lot of people in the comments. You know, I really don't care, but uh, just to let you guys know, it's our first podcast. I think two, I mean, it's, it's just us two. It's different when it's on the Full Sand podcast because yeah. it's like different people. But I'm not going to lie. It's pretty nerve wracking. Are yeah, you nervous? Yeah, this is, this is new for me. I mean, this is the first time we can actually have a, a yeah. voice where we can go back and forth, back exactly. and forth. Exactly. I love um, it. I'm excited for it, though. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. You guys can tell we're nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just You guys can comment it all you guys want, but- yeah, to start off, want to let you guys know how we, you know, got into the scene, how we got into the entertainment world. You know, me and Jay didn't have the best of first appearance, right? Like, I called you. I thought you were gay oh, when yeah. I first met you. Yeah, you remember that? When he first met me, you actually called me Kodak Black. Yeah, I, I called like, him Kodak Black. I was actually low-key offended, and I thought that was like, <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of my face, to be honest. And then- Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the best <laughs> introduction, I'm not going to lie. You were just it a troll. Yeah, every I'm not gonna lie. Everyone in high school really hated me. Uh, people thought I was annoying, but I was. I mean, I moved from San Jose to Sacramento. I always say I'm from Sacramento because that was mostly where I grew up from. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I was a pretty annoying kid. That was pretty interesting. But he took faith in me, though. Cousin Jay took faith in me. Yeah, you always had something in you, honestly, that stood out from other people. At least. You were annoying as fuck, but I say you were at least like <laughs> so at least at least you're honest because yeah. I'd rather you be annoying and honest than like super nice and dis disingenuous, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the crazy thing is, even in high school too, like not having the yeah. best introduction. I don't know where did that barrier break, I wonder. Like, cause like going from you really not fucking with me. Like to us fucking with each other that heavy. Like that, I don't know how that happens. That part I genuinely do <laughs> yeah, not know. know cause like when I first, I mean, I would just watch you roast people outside the cafeteria, <laughs> yeah, out, outside of the basketball games and shit like that. But yeah, I, I would just analyze everybody around me, and yeah, you're just being yourself. That's what I really admired. Yeah, that that was the one thing with me and Jay. You know, uh, you know, obviously he had his brand. If you guys don't know already, Girls of Artists, uh, he's been growing this brand for since high school so yeah. uh 2017 yeah yeah and he he was the first person you know it's crazy because i was still trying to find my passion as well you know and what i wanted to do uh yeah. and i seen dude this guy was selling clothes at school like he was he was basically the the prada of kasuma so <laughs> no he was the prada he was like the mike amiri like if you hear clothing you're gonna hear girls of artists so yeah i was really him yeah yeah no really okay him. i mean have the confidence <laughs> no I'm, bro yeah i started like late 2017 on making clothes yeah before that like in middle school to fund that i would just like sell candy for like 50 cents mm -hmm. yeah I you know that. those little mexican lollipops with the little uh chili chili a chili whatever you call it on talk there. to the camera hey let's talk yeah. to the people yeah you know those little mexican lollipops it had the little chili on it the watermelon and mango ones, 50 cents, just sold them left and right, left and right. I'm not, I'm, okay, look, let's be honest. No, we're, we're keeping this. We're keeping this. Everything that is okay. happening, because I, I want people to like honestly see this. I don't really care. Roast us however you want. It's our yeah. first podcast. Yeah, like, roast I, me. I'd rather just talk in a way where like, you 100%. know what, man, if you see my mistakes, if you guys see, obviously I'm not fucking Joe Rogan. No, yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? Like, no no one's really Joe Rogan. Yeah, this is, very, killing it. this is very new, but especially for myself. Yeah, it's but. new for me as well. I mean, I've done the Full Send podcast as well, 
but it's 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 kind of it's different when it's like a one on like I feel as if I'm talking to you one on one right now. Yeah, it's like we do this on a regular off yeah. camera. Yeah. We do film a lot of videos together, like with our group and with Nelk and everything, but mm -hmm. it's just I mean, I feel like I'm in an interrogation room. <laughs> like we got all these cameras, like yeah. why are you just like stalking me? I don't know. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty nerve wracking. But like going back to that too, yeah. like yeah, Jay stood like candy and then it went into clothing. And the one thing I like really, really loved. Cause he he basically had me as like, I mean, you helped me no, a lot with like, cause I wanted to start clothing. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I started clothing. I was like, bro, how the fuck are you making so much money in high school? Like this yeah. guy's like carrying racks everywhere. And mind you, like the high school that we went to, like you couldn't show that money. So for oh him to gosh. show it to me was kind of like, damn, you putting trust in me. Cause everyone used to steal out our high school. It was, it was a pretty bad high school. You know, there was a lot of like people getting jumped, you know what I mean? People, you know, taking the bus, you know, just random shit yeah. happening to innocent people. And uh, oh. it was crazy because he showed me all the money he was making. I remember you pulled out your duffel In bag. In my fanny next pack to your too. Car. Yeah, next to the Toyota Corolla. Yeah. That was crazy. But uh, yeah, I mean, he he basically helped me a lot with just understanding. I think that's when I like really, really understood businesses from Jay. And then I started carrying that on. But uh, I mean, ultimately, you know, high school was crazy because- there was just so much shit going on, right? Yeah, I actually do remember now. You were writing music, right? I was okay. He's bringing. You it were up. like right. an artist before. Him. Yeah. Okay. So I okay. I was what back then? I was like really thinking, damn. Yeah. I could maybe be the next rapper. I was still trying to find myself. You know, it's great that you guys know this, honestly, because I think it's good <laughs> to just bring this shit out. But yeah, I, I had I had notes written. I, we'll pop wow. it up on the screen. You had the I, I flat top. It. You had the flat had the top. Flat top. You know, you guys can roast me. I have a lot of photos <laughs> that you guys can roast me on. But we'll pop it up on the screen. Uh, tell me what you guys think of my raps. I'll, I'll give it to you guys. It's in my Snapchat camera. So did you like only write it down or were you like actually doing it? I forget. I was trying. Like I was trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't have the, you know what I mean? As you could tell, I, I sound very whitewashed. So, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like, you know what I mean? But yeah. yeah, music was one thing that I was really trying to pursue like at 16, 17. You know, I just didn't want to do school. I think that was very relatable too with Jay. Yeah. Talk about that as I well. I absolutely like, hated school, bro. I dreaded being there. It was just annoying. Yeah. Like just sitting there being told what to do all the time. Yeah. Like I, I like just having my own freedom and doing what I want to do. I mean, it's different with Nelk. We're not necessarily told what to do, but it's like we're guided in a way where it's like we can do what we want, but also work together. It was yeah, like, it's it's the greatest thing ever. It's and like, uh, and ahead. obviously we'll get, we'll get to that as well. I mean, this whole podcast uh, for the first episode is to really like tell you how we like came up. You know, single mother household. There's there's a, a bunch of shit. I don't know how yeah. long this podcast is going to be, but I I want to tell the whole story. But I'm down. But yeah, I mean, high school. You know, he had his business going. And, uh, you know, everything was going great in high school. And I was just trying to figure out where I was going. And uh, ultimately, you know, obviously videos of my senior year, that's when shit started popping off. And it was because of this guy, because he helped me like film every day. Like it, I was I was a senior and he was already graduated. So like I would skip second period and I would walk to his house because it was like about, I'd say like two blocks. Yeah, like no more than a mile. Yeah, no more than a mile. But he was even getting shit from his mom, like coming out and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah all thanks to this guy as well. Uh, you know, he really helped a lot. But you I mean, played your part at the same time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we both played it, which is great. You know what I mean? So, you know, changing topics here. Yeah. And going into like even that type of lifestyle of living in like a single mother household. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a lot of questions. And I'm sure a lot of you guys probably can relate to this in the comments, you know what I mean? Growing up in like a single parent household, you know what I mean? You'll There's people out there that have hella questions, you know what I mean? But I'm yeah. glad that we really, really like, you know, put that aside and really focus on our shit. And you yeah. can talk about that more as well. 100%. How do you think that like affected your upbringing, like with having a single mother? Uh, I don't, you know, at first it didn't really affect me. Okay. But now, you know, seeing everything in life now and like starting to understand like, damn, we, we've kind of lived a life that not most 21 year olds or 20 year olds have lived. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you when you start to get everything you want, then you start thinking about like shit that's like most important. You know what I mean? I think family is like most important. I always tell that to everybody. That was probably my one key thing is like pushing it away, but then also understanding what's the bigger picture. And you could explain as well. I want to hear yours. Yeah. On my perspective, I mean- I didn't have like 
I mean, I, I had a super close, but not super close relationship with my mother just because, I mean, my my father not being in my life affected her. Uh, and I have my story as well, too. Yeah. But, you know, we can get so deep into it. Oh, my God. We can get so deep into it. We can get deep. Mean? We can get really deep. We can get really deep. deep. But let's really, really tell them how transitioning to L.A. was because we live in a car. It was a 2000 2000- two, four tourists. My mom actually helped me go half on that. For me, like selling the candy and selling clothes and whatnot, that money, we use that to to purchase the four tourists. And um, I'm super grateful for my mother for doing that for me because yeah, yeah. that allowed us to travel back and forth to LA. Mm-hmm. And before we even went to LA the first time, remember that time we um we went to a party. They had people standing outside the door and we had to pay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We had to pay to get in there, but the people who were supposed to be charging the people at the door, they weren't there. So we took that spot and we, I acted like I was like the uh, <laughs> the front door guy. And I was like, yo, five, ten dollars to get in. You remember You're that? finessing people. <laughs> I'm a scammer. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian scammer, bro. Yeah, I mean. What? Yeah, we used to, you know, we used to do a lot of things to even just try to get, I mean, like I was 17 <laughs> and Jay was 18. And I remember specifically well, yeah. before we moved out, like yeah. before we moved out, you were ready to go, but I was 17. So oh I was still God. under my mom's custody. And for any Ethiopians watching, oh my gosh, you already know. That's all I got to say. Yeah, they, you already know. Your parents wanted you to be like a doctor. Yeah, or, my mom wanted me to be a doctor, a lawyer, lawyer, all this yeah. shit. But dude, it was crazy because when we first moved out and I was in continuation school, uh, I was like, yo, I'm ready to just get this and like, let's just get out of here. Because I know she's oh, not going to say yes. 100%. And- so, we were getting like, we had traction. We had motion. Yeah, yeah, we we're doing good. We had motion. We were doing good, and this is this is the start of like when shit was really popping off on Instagram. Like things were going so great. I remember we gained like three hundred k in a day. Yeah. When so I was like, yo, if this is happening, like we need to take a chance on it. Like there's there's no other there's no excuses. So hundred percent. We did that. You know what I mean? We moved to L.A. before we actually made the move to L.A. Remember. I remember picking you up from yours, and then yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Your mom coming I'll talk, out. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's he's picking me up. It's a crazy story. Uh, right before I'm about to go, so I'm about to get my duffel bag. I'm about yeah. to get everything ready. And my mom always stays in her room. You know, she reads the Quran. If you guys don't know, like I grew up Muslim, so my mom always used to just sit in her bed, read the Quran, like uh, audio books, everything like that. So I came in the house very like sneaky. I remember I grabbed my duffel. I don't know why, bro. I just felt like something was behind me, but yeah. there was like no one behind me. But as soon as I walked out of that door, I started sprinting. And it was the exact moment of her yelling. Yeah, like, isn't that like, crazy? She was like, Salim, Salim, yeah. Salim. She was yelling after me. She was chasing me. Yeah. I remember you picked me up and I was like, bro, just skirt. You didn't even know what was going on. But she was like, my son, my son. She, ran, my she son. ran into the middle middle of the street. It's, not, fu- it's not funny, but it it's is. It's crazy. I felt like I was kidnapping you, bro. Yeah, like, I mean, in a way Technically, you were. I did, you were 17. Yeah, technically you were. Yeah. I kidnapped you. But yeah, no, she was she was chasing after me. And I remember for like the first year or two of us living in LA, you know, I would get, or until I was 18, it was like a full year. Uh, I was getting nonstop calls from her and I kept telling her, yo, I'm going to come back home tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm good. And as soon as it got closer to 18, that's when like shit. It was all right. You yeah. know what I mean? Same here. Like, I didn't even tell my mom until like two or three months once we were already in L.A. Yeah, it's crazy. That I lived in L.A. Because I, I knew if I would have told her when we made the move to go to L.A. that she would have been like, Jordan, you are not. Oh, yeah. Side note. My name 100%. is Jordan. <laughs> um, Cousin Jay is my alias. But we're getting deep. Um, Yeah. I, w- I did not want to tell my mom at all because I already knew she was not going to like she was not gonna allow that, honestly. Yeah, no parents gonna allow that. I mean, you going to LA with no money. I mean, yeah, nothing. You know, we were dude, we were totally broke. Like we drove down to LA with a fucked up brake. Remember that brake? We had to brake so far away from a car. Like you know when you see traffic? Oh my god. Like, dude, it was I know. like yes. It was terrible. Yeah, when you when you step on the gas or when you step on the brake, it would take like 30 seconds it would for take the car. 30 to stop. seconds to do it, yeah. And we go down that hill going down. Oh yeah, the it studio. Was, it, it was terrible. It was terrible. I mean, but we <sighs> slept in there. We, you know, we had good times in there. We used to eat yeah. chips every day. Oh yeah. But and then what happened? Remember that we moved into a family. Which yeah. Is the next chapter we're about to tell. That you. was amazing. Yeah, we lived with the family for about a year or two. You know, yeah, like nine months. Uh, very good family. Very great family. You know, uh, there was two sons. 
There was a mother, and uh, unfortunately, rest in peace yeah. uh, to his father. Rest in peace. He, uh, you know, committed suicide. You know, so we lived with a, a like a family where a year prior there was something so tragic that happened, and for them to take us in. You know what I mean? Even though we like took care of dogs and, you know, we, we were willing to do anything because like seeing yeah. that was like terrible. We used to scrub the whole house. We we're basically their cleaners. Yeah. I mean, they fell in love with our story. We fell yeah. in love with their story yeah. and we just became super connected. And mm -hmm. then maybe like three, four months into being there, that's when things started to get a little bit. Yeah. 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 Three, four you. months into it, you know, I don't know how to like really, really explain this, but like, yeah. you know, I always think in a sense of reality that like no matter how good you're doing and how confident you are, there's always going to be jealous people. You know, I'm not calling like any of them jealous. I'm not even trying to speak bad on them. But, yeah, you know, there was obviously certain situations where I was like, dude, this is petty. This is that with like, you know, people we're living with. And, um, you know, we don't have to focus on the negative side of those yeah. things. But it was interesting living with the family, taking care of two dogs, scrubbing the whole place every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Th those were those were times where like I think I'll never forget because I think you know when we were scrubbing shit and the kids were taking credit for it yeah I mean uh, yeah he was a year older than me the other son was about 18 19 but yeah they used to always take credit for yeah. it I, I don't just, know why I can see where that's frustrating for you yeah but no I, I understand yeah I understand I mean but uh it was beautiful for the most part like yeah, bro they literally didn't have to let us stay there for over nine months yeah that's true that's like, true that's why I, I want to focus on the positive side exactly. of things that's why like never talking down on anybody, but it was, dude, it was hard. It was that not was, easy. That was like very hard. It was not easy at all. Like having but to deal with that. Yeah. We didn't have jobs or anything like that. We didn't want to go the traditional route as far as like going to school and whatnot. We would just ask people for gas money. Oh yeah. We would ask people for gas money to make our way through life. We were filming so much, man. Like it was getting to a point where like, fuck dude, do we use this money for gas? Or do you use it for food, or bro? Or you got and Takis, it, I'll get yeah, hot so, fries. Yeah, so yeah, we went that way. We were just yeah. like, you know what? These chips are like $1.29, $1.30. Let's just get some chips, use the other $4 for gas, and let's just go film. Because that $5 worth of gas meant a lot. And then on top of that, sometimes we'd even get like $20 when we asked for five, and I would be like, God, is, God is by my side. Getting $20 when we only asked for five or $10 was like, one of the greatest moments yeah. at that time, honestly, because niggas was broke. Yeah, there was a lot of nice people. We didn't have shit, man. It, it's crazy, like, seeing how going from, like, a really, really small town, Elk Grove, to, like, like look where we're living at now. You know what I mean? We worked so hard for it. Dreams to a reality, seriously. Yeah, 100%. I mean, obviously, too, to you guys, there's there's more to come. I know I haven't posted on my channel in a bit, but just trying to figure out. I'm an overthinker. Just so you guys know. So there you go. I mean, that's why we're here. Yeah, exactly. And it's crazy because going from high school, me and Jay knowing each other, you know what I mean? Our differences, you know what I mean? The introduction wasn't the best. Uh, going from there, you know, to living, you know, in a car, to living with a totally random family. You don't even know what they're going to do if you sleep. But yeah. I, don't, I, I, I think we were always go-getters, man. Like, I just don't, I just generally believe so because... I think we would never take those chances. I don't think a lot of people would take those chances of living in a car, eating the same shit every day. That It was not good for you. Like, mm. hot Cheetos is not good for you every day. It's a horrible diet. It's horrible. a terrible diet. And, uh, you know, going from that to making content on YouTube, making a bunch of videos, obviously your brand's doing well. You know what I mean? There's more to it as well. It's a, it's a continuous grind, which is crazy. It's a, it's a journey for yeah. sure. All right. So, yeah, before, you know, obviously me and Kyle and Jesse and all the shit that's been going on with Nelk and all the success, uh, we should definitely touch on living in LA because it was really sketchy. It was really, really sketchy. And I remember yeah. I crashed your car into a Tesla. I was hella mad, bro. You actually, we got a fine for, I think $6,000 for a tiny bump. It was like four to, yeah, it was. For a tiny, it wasn't even a bump. It was a little scratch. We didn't even leave a note. We actually were going to leave, but then we came back. I was like, we got to leave a note. We left a note. And oh, they, we did. We, we did. We did leave Damn, a note. that was so long ago. And the people, they like were like, we're actually glad that you did that because our Tesla has cameras. And if yeah. you didn't do that, we would have like pressed charges exactly, and like made yeah. it worse. That's crazy because we, damn, I crashed your car. I remember one time the Taurus... I don't know what happened to the break, but it was falling down the street because we were parked up. Yeah. In LA, there's certain like streets that are like super high. Yeah, super and high steep. and shit. 
And like, there was, damn, that's crazy, man. There, there's certain times where we had to like really, really, damn. And through it all, like eating like just chips and oatmeal and yeah. stuff. Bro, we would party literally every single day, no matter what. Yeah, we would party. And guys, this is back when I didn't drink at all. This yeah. is when like, this is when I was like Jay sober. Like I would literally, like we'd go out yeah. and we just didn't drink at all. Yeah. I, I didn't drink. He still yeah. doesn't drink. But now yes, I drink. That's nuts. Yeah, we used to go to parties every day, just trying to, you know, find new people to connect with, you know, doing anything we can to like, you know, meet people and, you know, continue to grow. But the Instagram, man, like that shit was like kind of, that shit was going up. That yeah. shit was going up, man. And one thing I really do admire about you at that time, because I, you already knew I valued, like I, I knew the importance of making money, but you seen how... You didn't really need to focus on money. I really, really love that because not every the the world revolves around money, but it's not all about the money. Yeah, I've always said that. I've always said money is so concurrent that like I don't I don't think having a little like you shouldn't focus solely on that. Like it's, I, I it's love not that. going away. I don't know why I've always told myself that, but you know when you really like something or you're really passionate about something, right? There's always going to be different thoughts of like doubt or like damn i don't got this i don't got that yeah to make this happen but i think what got us to this point was like dude you know what man like if we don't have money it is what it is let's just figure it the fuck out what's the one l word that i would tell you that is the most important before all this came to fruition what love that'll make you like make it in life period i want you to really think about it it's an l word that is very important it's a tool to use in life. Oh, leverage. Oh, oh my God. All right. I forgot. My bad. So what is it? I forgot. Leverage. Leverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's yeah, that that's important. So yeah, I remember you should always said that. So like the situation that we were in, like I knew the importance of money. So like I was trying to get to the money and you were focused like so much on the content that it just balanced yeah. itself yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. once we super once we both dialed in and focused on the videos, bro, literally we we tried doing promos for a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to do promos, like 10-minute promos. On your Instagram. Or $10 promos. Uh, I used to do all those. Yeah, just trying our best, man. Because, I mean, it's it's not easy. Like, it's definitely not easy running away from your mom while you're trying to make good-ass videos. And then you got that in the back of your head. Like, she's, she's fucking worrying. Yes, you know what I mean? When you got bro. your parents, like, she was worrying so much. That I was like, bro, I got to block my mom out of this right yeah, now. You I got to, like, get this content done. But, I mean, now she's enjoying the fruits and labors for that. 100%. But it's crazy. I mean, yeah. going to that, meeting Kyle and Jesse, very nerve-wracking. You know, shaking Kyle's hand for the first time. Shaking Je You didn't give a fuck. You didn't even know who they were. Yeah, I, so I didn't, didn't know, know who they were at I didn't the time. know who Nook was. Honestly. I was tripping out. I was tripping out. I was tripping out. Like being in the cloud house, I was tripping out. You were nervous, I, man. I was so nervous because, I mean, you're going to the cloud house. You know what I mean? Like I've been watching these guys for so long. And like you get a text from Kyle. It's like, yo, we should film something soon. Yeah, it's crazy. Like he would tell me. Selene would tell me in high school all about Nook, but I didn't take it serious or anything like that. I thought it was just like, just a whatever type of video. But then the moment when we started collabing with them, I think we did the sneezing prank. Mm -hmm. And that day, like we were just filming on our iPhones, mind yeah. you that. Yeah. When we took the step to film on these big ass cameras, it was just mind boggling. And then the connection that they had, it was yeah. just yeah. a whole system. They got editors, cameraman, completely different to what we were doing. Yeah. Like on a whole nother level, movie, movie status. Yeah, it was, com it was completely different. And I always give thanks to Kyle, like 100%. straight up, because he's always, you know, believed in like anything I've wanted to do. 100%. Videos, everything, you know, going to the cloud house was not an easy meeting, to be honest, because you're just looking around at the process of everybody doing everything. You know, you got 905 shooter. Yeah. I guess fucking off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, just yeah, chilling yeah. there, but no, nah, we're playing Pong with 905. Yeah. But then you have Jesse working on, you know, the edit. He's with Osgod. Yeah. You got Adrian. Yeah. You got a bunch of like, just a great team. And like seeing awesome. that was like so inspiring. I was like, bro, this is how everything should be. And we will always work to that. Now we have that team, obviously with Jason, Nick, Chaffee, yeah. Jay. You know what I mean? So it's growing as it's going up. Yeah. But it, it was great to see. It, it was, was great to it see. It was definitely nerve-wracking too. And on top of that, I remember 
what really made us click with Nelk is when we started talking about girls. Like we just connected so well, especially Bradley. <laughs> he was just super good with that vice. It's like, you know, I had the hardest time with talking to girls, bro. Yeah, yeah. I could not, before clout, bro, high school, I, I was a man. But like after, it was like, honest, I'm going to be super honest. After high school, I felt like I lost my sauce because like, it's like, we're doing this. Went from making like $400 a day to making no money. We're getting millions of views on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then we did a couple YouTube videos, getting millions of views. And it's like, it was super humbling for me. So like, it, it took away a lot of my confidence and then joined Nelk and my confidence like kind of- Yeah, of course. They kind of flipped back. Yeah, and going back to what Jay's saying- So like, crazy. We connected with Kyle and Brad just talking about chicks. I mean, we lived yeah. in like a, we lived in El Grove. Like if, for you guys to know, El Grove is very small, not a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So going to an LA scene, it's like, what the fuck is going on completely here, Completely right? different switch. Yeah, completely different switch. And I think that's where like the connection was really built up. It wasn't necessarily talking about girls, but yeah. I think our ideas of like just different topics, like just talking about different shit. I think it was such a connecting vibe. And from there on out, I mean, Kyle, basically said, yo, move into Fredonia. That was crazy. Yeah, moved into Fredonia. You know, it's crazy. I always think about the, these situations a lot because, you know, going back to even saying like the single parent household thing too, it's like, you know, there's a lot of people that don't know how to deal with situations like that. And I think it's great to talk about because, you know, some people feel as if they need a, like it, failures it, you know what I mean? Because there's a different, you know, perception. They They think, they're in the wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah, when it's so, not really the case. It's never, it's, I mean, you don't know. You don't know. But it's always having that idea. But I think what's great of what we've done, and like I said, is pushing that for now and like focusing on us and then obviously like, you know, trying to worry about it later. But it's crazy. We live, we were both your mom, yeah. my mom, single parents. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And now, I mean, our parents like, they're not best friends, but they're definitely grateful for each they other. They don't like you. I don't. I. I don't think your mom and my mom would ever mesh. Yeah. No way. I, no way. Yeah, I think so. Too. But my mom is Muslim. But your mom is. <laughs> like, your mom is definitely. Be, huh? Your mom's definitely grateful for how oh, things turned out. She's though. grateful for. She's grateful for your mom. She's really, really grateful. Definitely grateful. But I yeah. remember. Yeah, I remember. She was fucking yelling at your balcony. Remember yeah. That? Your mom came to my apartments, my mother's apartments, and was like yelling, like, "What's in it?" Anybody know where Salim is? Like, <laughs> all right, you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, it's funny. It's funny. No, it's funny. yeah. And your mom was asking, like, does anybody know where Salim is? And my mom happened to be on the balcony and she seen her, like, calling for, like, I don't know why she came out. Your mom was asking for Jordan. Like, she was asking for me. Anybody know where Jordan and Salim is? And then my mom was like, did you call my son's name? And she's like, yes. Are you so and so? Are you so and so? And she was like, um, I'm sorry. And then she was like, yeah. And then they started chopping it up. And then she got her number and was like, you need to get my son back and whatnot. And that was the same day when we had moved out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was, it was so scary. Like, because I actually kidnapped you, bro. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I wouldn't have turned you in. I mean, I <laughs> really think about that. You, I, I was like afraid. Imagine I turned him in. You could have, you could have did that to me. But nah, you, you, I mean, you got to take You held chance. it down. You held yeah, it down. I, I did. I did. But nah, yeah. I mean, that was uh, nice, yeah. short and brief. Want to let you guys know as well. I want to make these podcasts about 30 to 45 minutes. I don't want to, you know, we've talked about it as well. We, we don't want it to be like a podcast that's like very, very long. We want to make sure that everything we say is like nice, short, and sweet. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Obviously, giving you guys context and everything, but yeah, this is our first pod. You know, shake it up for the first one. Let's get it. More to uh, come. There's more to come. But yeah, guys, let us know in the comments, you know, what you guys like want to see out of this podcast, you know? certain topics, certain, like whatever you guys want. I want this channel to be us growing together. So that's the whole point of us doing this podcast. I think, you know, it's great to have a voice. I think it's very important. Um, and we have the platform for it. So I'm ready. Yeah. So we're here to grow with you guys. This may have been the worst podcast in some people's eyes. I think it was shit. I think it was shit. Yeah, it was shit. <laughs> it was but shit. This, this could be the best. Who knows? But, you know, it's all about learning. It's all about getting better. But we're definitely gonna upload this episode. I don't. I don't care how stupid I look or how we look. I just want to stout. Like I literally just want to start from like ground zero. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm here zero. for it. Let's get it. Yeah. So thank you guys for the first episode. 
Um, you guys will know the name shortly. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys. Peace.